All right, hey guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your, uh, how to sorry, play your own videos on the PS4 or Wii U. The beginning of this video is the same, but then I'll split off to show you how to actually launch it in different ones. There'll be two separate videos basically, but they both have the same beginning. Anyway, uh, the first thing we want to do, want to do, is download and install this program to our computer. We'll actually need, as the title suggests, we'll need the uh, computer to actually run the server but once the computer is running the server just all you have to do is load up all your videos and then you'll be good to go you can just pick whatever you want to watch on your console so you don't have to bother using this computer every time it just has to be turned on and logged in all right so let's go ahead and download the program i'll have a link to this page in the description also make sure you have annotations turned on just in case i forget something i have to add it later so you click computer even if you're using like a smaller computer like a raspberry pi you'll still want to click computer and for windows use windows uh, Mac Linux version, uh, you'll have to set the permissions for your folders you want to share, of course, because you know not every program can access everything. Alright, we'll let this download, it'll take a few seconds, depending on your internet speed. While this is going, you'll want to open up the copy command prompt because we'll need that in a second. So you can press, uh, I thought it was over here. I must have moved it. Uh, you press Windows key R for run. And you just type in CMD in the box. This is if you're running Windows, of course. It's tutorials for Windows. And then you'll need your IP address or your local computer. So all you have to do is type in ipconfig. And then find the uh, uh, network address you're using. Uh, since I'm using Wi-Fi, it will be under Wireless LAN. As you can see, here it is, 192.168.1.3. All right, I'll have to keep that remembered, so I'm just going to minimize this. Plex is done downloading. Uh, I just uninstalled it from before. So, install. <coughs> Click install. You'll get a user account control pop-up to say yes. That happens whenever you install anything that needs admin rights. Alright, this will take a few minutes. Alright, and once it's done, all you have to do is go ahead and click Launch. And it should open the web browser for you, or the control panel. Okay, so never mind. It just opens the application from here. You can right click and say Media Manager. And this will bring up the web page. It's all web uh, based, so you can actually control this from your other computers. And then you can also stream it to your other computers. The first thing we're going to do is add some media to our server since it's already running. That was quick and easy. Let's go wait for it to load for the first time. It may take a little bit longer. I'll try to refresh it. Oops. Alright, so here's the first time it comes up with the setup window. It'll ask you to agree to the terms of service. Just go ahead. And now it's starting up for the first time close this extra one. Like I said, it just takes a while the first time to actually load up. I'm not used to this computer, I'm just going to make sure the audio is still working. Yep, we got audio. Alright. It's still starting up. And at this point, you want to make sure you have all your stuff in different folders. I'm going to make a new folder. Well, basically you can group your stuff in folders. Like you normally would if you're just organizing things. So I'm going to make a folder called Movies for the Example Movies. Which I have right here. I think they're in a downloads folder actually. Uh, while this is still going, I will copy these two things I just downloaded into this folder. And then from there, I'll move them into my movies folder. go and there we go <coughs> now I'm going to make a second folder basically like if you want to have movies and TV shows in two separate places so it's easier to find on your device you can do that too I'm just gonna call this one games I'll throw some gameplay videos in there 
All right, and by now it should be done. Let's go back to that tab, and it's done studying up. Oops, not used to using a touchpad. This laptop's so weird. As you can probably guess by the resolution, this isn't even 720p, it's some weird resolution. So now you can pick your name for your server. We're just gonna call this Cool Beans. Why not? See how they spell beans? Feedback, Psh, we don't need that. That almost rhymed. All right, now we wanna add some libraries. Remember I was just showing you about those folders for organizing. Um, if you don't, if you're watching a show that's, f you can use TV shows or movies for movies. Um, by using TV shows or movies, uh, you'll be have give be, yeah, you'll be given the option to actually have it organize it for you and give you like a brief description and stuff. If you don't care about any of that, and, or you're having problems with one of these because your like episode names are weird or whatever, you can use the home videos option. That way, it won't try to tag them. But let's just go ahead and try the movies option. Let's we'll call it movies. Why not? And you say add folder. This is where you browse to whatever folder uh, you want to include. It starts out in your C users and then your name folder. So we're going to videos, and then movies, and then add. That adds the movies folder to our library. Those two movies I added are public domain movies. That's why I can use them as video. And hopefully, um, it will pick them up. If not, it's not a big deal. All right. Add library. For I'm going to use home videos for my gameplay because I don't want to try to tag them. It's not going to work because there's no such thing as uh, trying the movie. It will probably try and will probably match them wrong. So for this, I'll use videos, games, and that means I'll be able to access both those folders on my PS4 or Wii U. As you can see, they both show up here. Go ahead and click Next. Oh, look, we can install PBS or SoundCloud. I don't really care about any of these. Alright, Plex Pass lets you access more fancy stuff, but it costs money. And here we go. Look, it actually shows the album art for Big Buck Bunny. And it gives us the year and all this stuff. Um, nine minutes long, 720p. And it even gives us a little description with this cool background image. So that's the cool thing about using the detect feature. <coughs> Alright, now that this is actually set up, you can add more if you want by going to um, just press home and then press this plus button. That will let you add more options, uh, sorry, more information or more videos. This isn't actually, it didn't find it. So. But yeah, they have other options too, like there's playlists. We can make a playlist so you can just like load up a bunch of content. Uh, music too, probably, I believe. They support music. And here you load. And you can add them to your playlist, and then from there you can just watch everything in a row. And let's go ahead and click this, and as you can see, it only has a took a screenshot from the video, it doesn't have much information. Alright, now we're ready to jump over to the console of choice. If you're watching the PS4 version, next will be PS4 footage. If you're watching the Wii U version, you'll be watching uh, some Wii U footage. So let's jump over to the console right about now. Alright, now we're back and we will be setting up the video play on the Wii U. So uh, you want to click the web browser button where you can see the big blue globe in the bottom center. I have to switch off it so I can use the, I'm using the gamepad. Boom. We're loading the, the internet browser. And there'll be some delay between what I'm doing and what you see on screen because there I'm using a capture card. Alright, go ahead and clear out what's in the address bar. <coughs> I forgot lots of this stuff's on the gamepad, so it's going to be a little bit awkward. Okay, I can't really show it to you. But in the address bar, you want to type in HTTP. There's a colon. Colon slash slash. And then your IP address. For me, it's 192.168.1.3. That's the thing you wrote down before. And the next part will be the same for everyone. You want to type in colon, once I find it, colon, three, two, four, zero, zero, and then a forward slash, which is when you're using a keyboard, it's the one next to the L, 
on the gamepad, and I do W E B. There are no spaces in this whatsoever. There are no spaces in this whatsoever. I just press OK, and it should load up a page like this. Ta-da! All right, let's go ahead and try to load a video and see what happens. We may have to do a little bit of adjusting. You can scroll up and down using the touchpad, and then just click on what you want to watch. Or we'll try this. We're using low quality, really slow Wi-Fi, so we may have to downgrade the audio quality, but we can do that on the fly with this program, which is pretty cool. Click on the pro click on the video again to start playing. We're gonna start from beginning. See if it comes up. And here it goes. It's a little bit laggy because we're trying to run it in full HD. So what we can do is see if it'll let me move it over. So this actually shows you that it actually plays. We're going ahead and uh, click settings. On the, if you click on the gamepad, you have to click at the bottom. You'll see a, by the HD, you'll see a picture of a TV with a gamepad by it. Just click that and it will push it up to the TV. And then you'll be able to scroll a window with a player in it. Once you scroll it down, this is really hard. I can't show you. Once you uh, pull it down with a stylus, you'll see the title of the video. And then a, um, an X. And beside the X will be a bunch of bars. With those bars, you'll be able to change it on the fly. But since I can't show you that, this is going to be a little bit difficult. So I'm just going to show you how to change it for everything. Since this is on your uh, Wii U, you don't want to have high quality if you can't play it. So go ahead and click the toolbar, which is right here. And then go ahead and click player. And um, by you can choose the quality right here at the top. So we'll change this to 720p. Click on the box. Oops. There we go. Four megabytes per second, 720p. Should be, all right, there we go. You've got to tap on the uh, the little arrow, hold it down, and you'll be able to scroll through the different options. Just find one that works best for your network speed. We'll try four megabytes per second. Scroll down and click Save Changes. Now let's go back to our video. Go ahead and play it again. We'll start from the beginning. And there's that little bar I was telling you about. You see in the top right, it had a little uh, levels right next to the uh, X. Let's go ahead and click play. That's what you would use to change the uh, quality on the fly. As you can see now, it's playing with no problems. It looks a little bit stuttery, but this just might be the beginning of the video. Uh, it had like one hiccup, but again, we're at four megabytes per second. We can get a lot far. We can get pretty far through. Even though you guys can't see, I'm going to try to change it to two megabytes per second, which is still 768 kilobytes. To see how it looks. All right, it says paused. Now we'll see it buffered. Let's click in the middle of the screen twice. Play button comes up. Click play again. All right. And so it looks like it's playing fine. It looks great on my television screen. Uh, you'll probably only be able to see it in 720p because that's what my capture card is recording in. Because the laptop. And it's no lag at all. So, okay. That shows you actually how to stream videos to your Wii U. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Again, there's a you still have to find a good setting for your Wi-Fi so that your Wii U can actually play without problems. But, I mean, it's working. I'm even watching this on my gamepad, too. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I guess see you guys later. Oh, real quick. 
if you want to, you can just click close if you want to close the video. And then it will bring you to this screen, which is the one I showed you before with the uh, thing over here, the little toolbar. That's the toolbar is talking about let you change the quality on the fly. So you could just close it, change it, and then press play again. But we're not going to do that. Go ahead and click the X to close the video. Uh, and then you can just click home to go back to your videos. Then there's a whole bunch of other ones. If you're watching standard def videos, it's not going to be a, a much of a problem with streaming. Uh, like this one right here. Oh, this is trying to. This is HD. Um, for example, this was recorded on an... Oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Oh, this is trying to, but it's not actually trying to. Huh. Anyway, this was recorded off an N64, so it's not going to have any problem streaming whatsoever. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. You don't have to do any hacking of your Wii in order to get this working. All you have to do is just press play a few times after loading up a video. It's because sometimes it gets a little bit funky, but other than that, the Wii U's built-in video player works fine for it. I mean, it's only in a browser, which is kind of silly, but I mean, you can actually play the game, the video, so you can play any HD video, standard definition video, and the uh, first video I showed you was AVI, <coughs> this one is MP4, so it plays different video types too, so alright, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you're still having trouble with buffering even after turning it down, it might be with your computer itself, although I don't think this program is very intensive, I'm running it on a Core i5, and it's eating up maybe... A uh, couple percent. I'm not even sure. It's not even showing up. Yeah, it's, it's not even visibly showing up in my task manager. Maybe like two percent of my graphics card. So, it's definitely worth a try if you want to watch videos and you only have a Wii U with you. Uh, just load up the videos on your computer and then you can play them on your Wii U. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll.